Guys, this is so brutal to watch. But I, I, I feel like I can heal this. I'm not gonna give up on her. She's fighting so hard. This is brutal though. Hey friends, it's Punk from North 44. I've got a doozy of a story for you all. This is my first ever Rhineck afflicted creature. She's a six week old olive egger hatched from our own stock. I honestly didn't even know what the hell Rhineck was. I just found her spazzing out one day in the brooder, hiding out from the rest of her flock. Her head was upside down and she seemed to be having what I can only describe as shrieking accompanied seizures. It was all so awful to watch. I didn't even know where to start, so I solicited advice on the old interwebs. And my friend Freddie and my other friend Stacy both had the same advice for me. So what I did is I bought, there's vitamin E and selenium gel that comes in a tube at the farm store for goats. Um, so you'll use that. And then also I used some nutritional yeast for the B vitamin. So what I did is I would just get like a little dollop on my finger twice a day. So probably the size of like a pea um, of the gel. And then I would like kind of touch it to the nutritional yeast to pick up some of the yeast on there. And then you'll, you might have to pry her mouth open at first and just like get it in her beak um, at first. And so began the healing. Week one was hideous. She needed near full-time care, and it's not as if there was anything else to do around here for the whole farm to prep and plant. And gaggles of other poultry to care for. Okay, yeah, we're chilly, we're in a pile. But it looks like we're all alive. And the latest turkey hatch going full steam. For those wondering, Fonzie didn't turn out to be a baby killer. She's actually a fantastic mom and is currently doing well in the nursery co-momming with Elaine Bennis. Ah. All right, I got her. But she broke the light. Tuck him under, it's cold. 29 degrees tonight, May 18th. We're not messing around here. Tuck them under or I'm taking them and putting them in the brooder. Tough love. Are you protecting your baby? What should we name her? Week two is a little better. Turns out it was easier for me to just bring her to work than to keep running back inside every hour to check on her. And so Paprika, Radar, and I have become the Three Musketeers. All right. Here you go. Oh, apple. oh, clover, yum. All right, let's do this. I'm right here. 
right here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. It's now week three. She's doing really well. Taking her selenium, vitamin E, and nutritional yeast without a struggle. Okay, I think that's enough. Can you overdose on this? I don't know. Okay, stop. I thought maybe I could start to reintegrate her back into her flock. Let's go have a visit with her flock. See how they react to her. Hi, babies. It's Paprika. Don't act weird. Act natural. Ah. Uh. Oh dear. Oh, that didn't go well. Oh. Safe to say I have a pet chicken. We gotta be bullies. Bullying's not cool nowadays. Maybe in the 80s when I grew up. Well, they thought they were cool. Bully me, ha, huh? look at me now. I got a pet chicken. Here, sit here a second. Follow us. Those guys, where are your flock now? Here we go. Here we go. Come on, girl. Get it, girl. Oh, look, I got two dogs. Come on, one more. Placate me. Good girl. Good girl. What do you think, Lynn? Is that Lenny? You're a tough friend. You're a good cat. <laughs> You're good too. Okay. Yes, we all love Paprika. We all love her. You gonna bring her Mr. Owl? I don't know if she can play with that. Is this your family? Is this your new flock? Fur instead of feathers, huh? Okay, time out. Um, <laughs> time out, says Seven and Linus. Uh, okay, I just wanted to say that you guys have all been so loving and kind and encouraging in the comments. And it really, really builds us up when we're down. And I just wanted to give a heartfelt thanks and a lot of our gratitude to all of you for that. And also in the last video, no, the second to last video, um, I'll put a link to it up there. Um, kind of let out a little bit of a cry for help and I not so subtly dropped our, our Venmo and our PayPal information and the super thanks button is always down there if the spirit moves you, but um, a lot of you picked up on that and actually sent some donations our way. So I wanna actually individually thank every single one of you and i have a list because there were so many of you it totaled just about 400 bucks we bought a crap ton of feed for the birds um some other things we needed some uh we needed two new three gallon watering cans you bought another waterer for uh the meat birds and another feeder for them um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great trip to the farm store and it was all made possible by you guys. So thank you so much. Here we go. Nan, my girl. Oh my goodness. She's so generous. Jake Vega. I know who you are. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, Emily at Feeding Creation. Thank you so much. 
Hope and Rich, thank you so much. My friends, they used to live in Cornville and they moved out Western Maine somewhere, so I don't get to see them much anymore, but they're great, great folks. Uh, Eves and Brenda sent me some of their funny money from up in Canada. Awesome, thank you so much. Um, Steve Shoemaker, thank you. Uh, at GKGE, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Kate and Russ, oh my goodness, you guys. Thank you so, so much. That was so generous. Um, hops and pops, always. You guys know, basically our entire life is made possible by you. Um, Janine from Ohio, nice donation, thank you so much. Anne Marie from the Fortins Farm in Winslow. They're great over there. If you're local, go get their grass-fed beef. And she wrote me the funniest note <laughs> with her donation. I think I laughed for an hour. And last but certainly not least, we want to thank Goodwin's Farm 207. And they're actually here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to link them in the description. You guys should go check them out. It's Jess and Michael, and they're down in Windsor, Maine. And uh, they're new homesteaders and they're new to YouTube. So you can kind of get in on the ground floor with them and get to know them. They are up to their necks in projects and animals over there, getting their homestead going. So if you're liking watching the main homestead thing, I highly suggest that you guys go and check them out. Let's show them some love um, from all of us on their journey, homesteading in Maine and their new journey on the old YouTube here. And um, we just want to uh, thank them and everybody else for the generous donations and oh my goodness. And if anyone wants a handwritten thank you card, um, feel free to solicit one at the email address that's in the about section. Um, it's shecanbuildit at gmail.com. That's me, punk. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's it. Really? Three bites? Come on, sweetie. Two more. Two more bites. Two more bites. Get your vitamins in it. Can dogs have nutritional yeast? Jeez, I hope so. Fine, go ahead. If you don't want it, you can have it. <laughs>